Hello everybody, this is Taco Master K here, and welcome to Sandman. For some reason, I thought I recorded an episode of this, and I looked on my computer, and I did not. So I gotta record it right now. Alright, so then we gotta go get the Sandman. Enter the log. And if my voice sounds, like, kind of weird... Hello? It's because I just woke up. This is Sandman! What? Jesus! What just happened? He seemed really mad. Oh, did you, uh, did, could you tell that by the boiling coming out of his ears? Oh, snappity snap. Help! Help! What happened? The statue fell. I can't move. Okay. I don't really know what to do at this point because, uh... I'm pretty sure we did everything that we can do, right? I mean, there's not really much. There is this room. Oh, Sophie. Hey, Dust. What's this room? This is somewhere the Sandman does his work. Oh, this is where the Sandman does his work. He sprinkles sand through these- through those holes there. We help, too. Get the fuck out of my way! Ugh. A hole. A hole. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <clears throat> the fuck? There's a hole in the ground, you see a ladder. Yeah. Something shiny on the ground. Got a key to somewhere. Ooh. I think I know where that key goes to. I think I know where that goes. <gasps> mm. Oh yeah, this room. Fucking pain in my ass. God damn it! Tooth Fairy, Nixie, what are you two doing here? Hey Sophie, we're just sitting or sitting down to tea. Is this Sandman's house? Isn't this Sandman's house? Can you just come inside like that? Can't you come and go as you please? Sandman's house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy and such great tea, too. Tea with Nixie's a bore, but Dwarf's not here. Guess the tea's good enough that I can tolerate an old water wench, huh? <laughs> Say what, you toothless grandpa? Same to you. I don't want to drink tea with a coot. I just have no choice with no handsome men around. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, finally a smile, Sophie. Much cuter like that, you know. Oh, really? Oh, yes. So much better than that irritated look you've had. Thanks. Oh my god, stop talking! Fairies seem pretty busy with work, but from what I hear, you seem to be having fun. I'm kind of jealous. You bet it's fun. Rotten teeth, sure, but I don't mind it. Oh yes, I do visit the human world at times, but this world's a clear winner for fun. Jesus- Oh my god, stop talking! Well, how about staying here? Won't have much fun if you go back, will you? da 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 well, good luck to you, Sophie. We'll be here watching how things go. Hope it goes the way you want it. I'm finally free from your grasps! Okay, let's see if it unlocks the store. Considering... Considering we just had an extended dialogue with those two, I'm probably supposed to be here. <laughs> I knew it! I'm good at games! Is this a sand making machine?
I can ride up the snore fruit with this, but I shall boil the cry gel fluid first. God hide gloves. Stow the pot on it. The pot is empty and there's no flame. Fuck. But how can I get this flame over there? With the gloves! Do I have any water? Oh, I could just put the fucking... I'll put the fucking shit in there. Oh, that sounds disgusting. These gloves are thick, so maybe I could carry the candle. Huh? Even the flame isn't hot at all. I can just carry the flame itself. Alright. Move the red flame to the stove. You didn't move it! It's still lit! My nose is dripping. Oh, God. Oh, God! I think I might be getting sick. Milling machine. Ryan the snore fruit up with this. Grind up the fruit! Made the snore fruit into powder with the milling machine. Okay, so what do we do again? Put this boiling pot, and then put the cater lizard tail in there. Ugh. Sound effects are disgusting. Is it gonna show it? Oh. Is it ready now? Gee, if you have to ask, it's probably ready. <laughs> Pour the broth into this bowl. Alright. Okay, I guess I have the broth. It has a funny thing on top. Must be the sand making machine. I just put what I've got in here. Yeah. Press the button. Press it! Yeah, sleeping sand! Small pile of powder. Is this sleeping sand? Oh, I put it in the sack! I put it in the sack! That's what she said. Do I put the sand man to sleep with it? What do I do with it? I have no clue. But we're just gonna go and try to find him, I guess. Hello, unicorn. Well, that hurt. What's wrong? You got a big lump on your head. I mean, not your horn. Sandman beat me up and he took the pink jewel and I got it from you and everything. After I got it from you and everything. Okay, so I gotta go find him. Obviously. Okay, so we gotta do some pretty specific puzzle work. We gotta go to the flame room, and apparently we use the stick to help the spirit. Just hold on a sec. I'll lift the statue with the stick, you'll be out soon, got it? Okay, hurry. I'm out, I'm out. Thank you, Sophie, thank you. Are you hurt? I'm fine. 
I owe you, Sophie. Lifesaver Sophie. I'll give you this good thing as thanks for helping. What the? These are pretty big for glasses. Read! You can read! Where are those of you who can read anything? They're Sandman's. But Lifesaver Sophie can have them. So we got the translation lenses. We gotta turn on the emerald flame. Raise lever. Hide gloves. Carry the flame over with these gloves. Got the emerald flame. You can pull it back down so we don't burn to death. So these statues are turned off. Then we gotta go light the candles. I don't know how the fuck I was supposed to figure this out on my own, but... Hey, what are you gonna do? Light it. And light it! Light that sucker! Yeah! Alright, so we got Sandman's secret room here. We got a very large telescopey thing. Look inside. It's the town! You can see my world from here! Was Sandman watching all along? Probably. An incomplete landscape painting and paints. One of the paint colors is missing. What's that? What's that? What's that? Candle's a blue flame. There's a fucking book up there! What the hell is wrong with you? You can't read it. Oh, yes I can! Wear glasses. Looks like a diary. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I can't stand it. How many centuries have I gone without sleep? Once when the world was flat, when the night fell at one time, I could just work at night and sleep during the day. I was so pleased with my job then. But now the world is round and night is everywhere. Night on the other side of wherever it is day. From a world where night is always falling, I cannot sleep. If I sleep, then humans will be the sleepless. My only solace is sleep seeing humans sleep soundly. But now, even that I can't... Tr but now even that I can't truly appreciate, if only I could have some of that blessed sleep. I've had enough. I'm so exhausted. I can't help wait, wanting to sleep. I made a machine to stop time. If I stop time in the human world and put them all to sleep forever, yes, but only for a little while. Only for a little while. I completed the eternal sleeping sand. I stopped time and sprinkled it in the human world. Most humans fell asleep, but it seems not all. Those with unease, anger, sorrow... How sad to be unable to sleep. I will create a lullaby for their sake. For the eternal sleep they deserve. I'll clear up their grief. Humans have the right to be happy as they sleep. That meddling, idiotic unicorn has brought a visitor into this world. Sophie Grundler. The girl with a smile like, the, like a goddess of the sun. She, too, is one of the sleepless humans. Even my creation lullaby was ineffective. I must- God damn it! I must send her a blank- Sandman. Made it here, huh, Sophie? Is that you, Lullaby? What happened to- No need to be in that form anymore. Of course, I'm just a lullaby, so I don't have any form. Seems like some something happened to you, Sophie. You were glaring at me before, but now you have a much kinder look. Well, because you looked like David. Do you not hate me now? No, I don't. What about David? How should I know? Lullaby. The Sandman was troubled and sleepless too, right? That's right. He's so serious. He doesn't know how to take a break. That's what led us to the current situation. I feel so bad for him. How hard must that be? Sleepless for centuries because of humans. Fairies are hard workers. So the Sandman couldn't sleep? He had to stay up and keep working? Why don't you have another Sandman and you, like, take shifts or something? <laughs> Lullaby. What do you think I should do? It's up to you, Sophie. No! I don't want to- I don't know what to do anymore. Put the sleep and see it on his goddamn eyes. 
I don't want to sleep forever. But if I stop him, Sandman can't sleep. We'll be- we'll still be suffering. Listen, Sophie. Didn't your mother always tell you, do what you want to do? I know what you want deep in your heart. But you have to realize it for yourself. What do you want? I have to stop the Sandman, but... Sandman was in the long corridor earlier. Go meet him. Think it over, Sophie. Think about what you want. You finally go in there. Oh, well, I can read this without the glasses. It's just plain English. To my dear Miss Grundler, I presume you are well. While we have passed each other many a time, unfortunately, it would appear we have been unable to understand each other. I have prepared a special sleeping sand for you. Surely, with this sand, even you will be able to slumber. I shall be waiting at the top of the castle. I hope you will not run away. The stairs are very old and full of holes, so please take care not to hurt yourself, my dear Sandman. Sandman. Alright. Just in case we done fucked up. Sandman. It was hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand. I've been suffering the same way. Really, I'd want to put... I'd want to be put to sleep, too. I've wondered how good it would be to forget all the bad things in sleep. But I don't want to sleep forever. I want to wake up even if it might be a bad day. I'm sorry I can't understand, Sandman, but this is the only thing I can do. Shit's about to get real. Oh! I'm terrible at this. God damn it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Good night, Tan Man. You don't have to put up with it anymore. Take a nice rest. Sophie. 
You put Sandman to sleep? I couldn't kill him. I couldn't kill him. He put up with so much for humans, he just wanted to sleep. How long will he sleep? Who knows? He's up for centuries straight. Maybe he'll see sleep for centuries too. I see. What is it, Sophie? Maybe it was all that effort. But I feel really sleepy now. Sophie! It's no good. I'm just too sleepy. If I fall asleep now, if I can't wake everyone up with all the humans, will all the humans die in their sleep? No, they won't die. Time has stopped for them. They'll just keep sleeping. That's good. If I... If I can wake up, I won't just put up with the bad things. I'll get back at Regan, and I'll tell Anne a thing or two. And Papa, I'll apologize to him. And also, I'll... I'll try to be friends with David. Sad I never even told him. But now we could be friends. I just want to have fun with him. I wonder if David thinks of me as his friend. Of course, you should know best how nice he is. There's so much I've wanted to do. I want to think about tomorrow, but I'm too sleepy to stay up. The fuck? You just turned into my mother? Eh? Ma? Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. Don't fear the monsters in the closet. I'll be right here. Did you say your prayers before bed? But I haven't heard you say it yet. Say it, Sophie. Oh, God! Okay. Good night, Mama. Oh, that hand! It's like three fingers, like... morning? Am I back? Was it all a dream? It's time for school. I gotta put on my uniform. Oh yeah, because after going through that entire ordeal, the first thing you gotta worry about is putting your uniform on. Papa? Why aren't you staying at work? Morning, Sophie. I am- I was working, but I fell asleep. I just got back now. Hmm.
Wait, Sophie. Is there something you want to tell me? What? What was that call from the school about? I've never gotten a call from Sister Mary before. What in the world happened? You didn't do something bad, did you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Listen, Sophie, I- I SAID I DON'T KNOW! <laughs> what? I didn't do anything wrong! Why- why did you get called? Just think about it. But not like you would know. That's right, you wouldn't know. Because you never pay attention to me. Just work, 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 never spend time with me. When was the last time we ate together? When was the last- when did you last say good night or good morning? You never even done that for me. He just did! He just did! I I'm not a good kid. Because of my selfishness, because of my selfishness made you, made you push yourself again. Sophie! He just fucking said good morning to you. Oh no, that's not good. Sophie, your hair's all red. Did you hit your head? Are you bleeding? Oh right, that's just the regular color. Silly me. Punch her in her blonde face. I hate people like that. Is your house built on a cliff or what, Regan? Huh? Just look at that hair. It's like you got in a tornado and the tornado won. But if you live on a windy cliff, that might explain a few things. Like, what a blowhard you are. Oh! What are you girls laughing at? You're laughing at what a blowhard you are. Hey, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into you? I'm the only one who you can ever show off in front of. You've always been Regan the blubbering crybaby. You- Wah! Hey, stop it, you two! What's all this about? My word, what happened here? Miss Grundler, Miss Bloomberg, you're coming to my room this instant. You're first, Miss Grundler. Grundler. I quit being your sandbag. If you quit making fun of me. If you make fun of me, I'll pay it back a hundredfold. And nobody's making fun of my mom's red hair. I decided I'll fix my own problems. I'll do what I can about the bad things. How about you do the same? If you swear to never bully me again, I'll gladly talk it out with you. Like old times. Regan's an asshole. <laughs> Sophie! Why did you do that? That's so mean to Regan! You fucking kidding me? Does it matter to you, Anne? I'm the only one being tested. Oh, I'm the one being teased. I do care, Sophie. Then why do you only ever watch? Exactly! The fuck? You said you were worried, but you just stayed quiet. You were just glad it meant that you wouldn't be a target, weren't you? No. I wanted to help, but... Liar! Just tell the truth! You say you were too scared. Say you were too scared. Sophie. I'm sorry. I was the one who told you that. That was- that I was fine, so you shouldn't worry. I really did want someone to help, but I put up with it so you wouldn't worry. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I always sneeze three times, but whatever. I thought you might not be my friend, so I was the liar, but I'm not doing that anymore. I won't let Regan get the better of me. I'll send her insults back and answer if she picks a fight. That's the way you should be! You don't pe let people push you around. Kick your ass! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just remember, if somebody bullies you, like... Whether it be in person or online, especially online. If you confront them, they won't do shit. That's the reason that they're picking on you. They think you're weak, but if you show them you're not weak, they won't do shit. Because they're cowards. So, confront them. 
That's what I say. <laughs> you might not like that, but if it's okay with you, I'd like us to stay friends. I'm disappointed in you, Miss Grundler. Does it look like I give a shit? A scuffle in the middle of the classroom. As a young lady, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed for being such an asshole. While I don't know what happened myself, such violent behavior is so unbefitting of you. Why don't you fucking know what I should do? It's like what a little kid would do. I had the exact same response, like, fucking really? Do you remember the passage from Job at my sermon? Ending suffering is what gives us merit. Hardship is no reason to use force. I'm no saint. And why is that? I could just grin and bear it. But does it mean I'll be repaid? Greater merit. Am I really supposed to just put up with all my hardship for that? Not even. Screw putting up with bad things to be called a saint. I don't want to be a saint. I want to be human. It's far more important to be able to sleep at night. To do everything I can day by day. And to sleep looking forward to tomorrow. Are you talking to me, Miss Grundler? Are you talking back to me, Miss Grundler? Who the fuck does it look like I'm talking to? Do you think it it's do you think it right to childishly do as you please? Obviously yes. Do you think God would approve? Who gives a shit? And why can't you be a child? What was it? The kingdom of heaven belongs to those such as these? Do not raise such quibbles with me. What I'm saying is that your attitude is... I don't mind if God doesn't care for me. Because ever since I was little, I know I've had someone watching over me. My mother. I will be telling your father about this. He may be busy with work, but this can I cannot overlook. I'm going to have a long talk with him. And that's why you should never go to Catholic school. <laughs> Do what you will, sister. But he won't be available today. I have important business with him. I'm going to kill him. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Grundler. The only person you need approval from is yourself. Who cares what other people think? Who cares? Papa, did you not go to work? I took the day off. I see. Sophie. I'm sorry um, for not realizing how you felt. Well, to be fair, she never said anything to you. I thought you hated me. You're in high school now, and I wanted to be close, but I thought you'd be annoyed. I'm busy at work, true, but I've convinced myself if I just keep working, I could, you could be happy, but I guess I was misguided. I didn't know how lonely you felt. I'm truly sorry, Sophie. Can you forgive your papa? I'll, I'll be praying for the day I can. You shitting me? <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> Here we go. Jesus. I'm sorry for the awful things I did. I love you, Papa. I was scared to sleep in an empty house. I worried over things that were hiding in the closet like I was a little kid. But I don't want to be alone. Papa, stay with me. Of course, Sophie. You're my precious daughter. Today's the end of a long, cold war between us. How about we go out for something to eat, Sophie? Ooh, something to eat sounds good! Sorry, Papa, hold that thought. There's somewhere else I want to go. To David? To your one and only love! Ow, jeez. What'd you do? Fell asleep watching TV at your place. So my neck really hurts. No wonder your neck looks crooked. Crooked man! <laughs> David! Hey, Sophie, long time no see. Oh, right, I should introduce you. This is Shirley, my fiance. Nice to meet you, Sophie. I've heard about you from David. Hi, Shirley, nice to meet you, too. Huh, you seem pretty happy. Something good happen? 
Well, there's a lot I want to talk about. A lot happened and a lot changed with Anne, Regan, Papa. And also the Sandman. Sandman? Feels like I've heard that. What is it? What was it? He's a fairy, David. A sleep fairy. He uses sand to put people to sleep. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun, Sophie. We're going out to dinner, so do you want to come? You could tell me all about it. Yeah, that sounds great. Sure, let's go. That's the nicest fucking fiancé I've ever seen. <laughs> kawaii! <laughs> so kawaii! So ends the tale of the Sandman. Made up? Of course it isn't. You remember it, don't you? Though you were asleep, you remember a night that felt like, felt like eternity. That night was the night you slept while the Sandman stopped time. Now close your little eyes. I'll tell you another story tomorrow. Good night, my little dear. Oh, we got the happy end! Woo! Don't stay up late at night. That was a really good game! That was a really good game. I freaking love RPG Maker games because they remind me of the classic ones. That's why I really like them. Thank you for playing. To those who also played Crooked Man, you have my additional thanks. This game differed in every way from its predecessor. Apologies to those who were expecting a TCM-like story, but I'd been planning this since starting the last game. I'm very glad to have finished it. The Whatever Man series will go on. The story and mood will differ depending on the man. So I hope people will play the next entry. Again, congratulations and thanks for playing. What is a fairy encyclopedia? Nixie. The Tooth Fairy. Unicorn. Glimmer. Dwarf. Dust. And the Sandman! Yeah, buddy. Do I go in the bed to quit? Take about an hour to go through recommend those. Go what the heck. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here! <laughs> this game was so good. This game is so good. I'm so glad I played it. The Crooked Man was the predecessor, so naturally I will have to play the Crooked Man next. I did not know that this was part of a series, but I saw this Sandman, and I was like, hmm, there's another one that I want to play that I've only seen one other big YouTuber, again, that I'm subscribed to play, which I've started playing on my channel before, which is Desert Nightmare, and I'm not sure if I'm going to delete the old videos and replay it because the recordings for those are horrible, so I think I might delete those two videos, refilm the entire series again, or I might just keep them up and refilm it anyway. Not sure, but I'll figure that out. So, next game is definitely gonna be San uh, Crooked Man. I'll add a playlist once the Crooked Man is done, called the Whatever Man series, and then I'll put them all in order. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for staying to the end if you did. Like if you enjoyed the video, it makes me feel good about myself and I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more gaming videos weekdays because it also makes me feel good about myself and I really appreciate it, it makes my day. We're at 49, let's get to 50, come on, let's get to 50, woo! And I'll see you in the next video.